happy 4th of July story time. 15 years ago on 4th of July, it was a Saturday and it was drizzling. And me and my husband at the time were driving back from evangelizing, from sharing the gospel on the streets. It's something that my church has a ministry doing. And we used to do this a lot often. And on the way back home, of course, it was drizzling. We were driving a black Explorer when it slid off the road and it began to hit the side of the freeway. We are going 60 to 80 miles somewhere between there and it hits the rail and it ricochets back and it hits and it does this about three to four times. And at one point it did spin and it finally stopped. And while it's spinning and it's hitting the wall, I'm screaming the blood of Jesus, Jesus protect us. I am seven months pregnant at this time. I didn't have my seatbelt on at the beginning of this trip. But 10 seconds prior to this happened, the Holy Spirit said, buckle up. And I buckled up. Once the accident happened, I looked over to the driver's side. And my husband at the time, his body was limped over on the steering wheel. And he had hit his head on the windshield. He was completely unconscious. I shake him. I move him. He's unresponsive. My heart drops. I don't know how my child is doing. And I look over through the side rear view mirror and I see an 18 wheeler coming as fast as it can and it zooms right past me. <sighs> My heart drops and as it as I see it pass us up, I just begin to thank God that it didn't hit us. And I call 911 and they arrive faster than what I can even imagine. They check me, I tell them I'm pregnant. The ambulance gets there, is checking me. By this time, my husband becomes cautious and um, he hears me tell the ambulance people, I'm, I'm seven months pregnant, I'm seven months pregnant. And he goes, what? You're pregnant? Why didn't you tell me this? Why did you keep this from me? I look over to him and I'm like, you knew I was pregnant, you knew I was pregnant. He lost memory for a few moments. And he just kept saying, I don't remember you being pregnant. I don't remember you being pregnant. So, of course, I'm at a higher alert. I don't know what his condition is. I don't know how he's going to be. I don't know what did he lose his memory. Is he completely forgotten? I don't know. And needless to say, at this time, my parents are about five hours away. They're out of town in a conference, five hours away from where I was at. And... I called and I called them and they do what any good parent would do. They came rushing to my side. And for the honor and glory of God, long story short, my son was healthy. There was no complications. My husband, there was no major complications. There was a couple of few days of in and out, hazy memory, but overall we were all safe by the mercy of God. His hand was over us. And I want to remind you that this 4th of July, as you celebrate being free as an American, I also want you to remind yourself that we have free access to the presence of God. We have a free access to call upon the name of Jesus and see his mercy, see his glory shine upon our lives. And that has happened through Jesus Christ and the sacrifice he did on the blood on the cross of Calvary. So don't forget that you are free to enter into the presence of God. Call on him, just like I did 15 years ago. I said, the blood of Jesus protects us. And I can testify that it has covered me in my...